Hi everyone, it's Sorkin. Today we have a problem when we are given an integer array nums that may contain duplicates and we need to return all possible subsets for that array. So also another requirement is that the solution set must not contain duplicate subsets and we can return that in any order, our solution. So how are we going to solve this problem? The way we are going to solve it, the approach that we are going to use is we're going to use here backtracking. This is a standard approach for this kind of problem when we are when we are asked to to generate all possible solutions or all possible permutations and so on. So in this case, what we the most important thing when we are using backtracking approach is to exactly visualize how we are going to generate a tree. So for example, in this case, we are generating, let's go explore, let's see how, how we are going to generate our tree of solutions. So first we are generating, first we are exploring this option one, and the next one is one and two, right? We are going to the next element, one, two, and two. So from here, there is no more elements in our, in our array. So we are backtracking from this solution, right? So, and uh, we are backtracking here also. Now we go, so we, we went to the left branch and on the left right branch we are going to explore one and two again right this element so this element one and the two and we are going to backtrack from this branch also but let's take take a look at these examples so for now as for now we are generated three sub trees we are generated three subsets and uh, two of them are duplicates one and one one and two and one and two and by requirement our solution should must not contain duplicate subsets so how we are going to do that in our case we are going to use a set we are going to store our solution in a set and if we g are going to store the second set so basically it will be disregarded because we already have the set Let's finalize our tree, how tree is generated. So now let's go to the next branch, which is two, right? For the two, we are generating two and two, right? We are generating two and two, and we are backtracking from here because there is no more elements. And also the same way we are generating our two here, right? And at each step, we are adding all these whatever we generated to our tree, two, 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 one. So basically we have one, we have one and two here. We have one, two, two here, and we have two twice, but this, since we're adding to set, it's gonna be only one, two, and we have two, two, which is here. Okay, uh, first thing that we are gonna do are let's sort our array so let's just uh, call the sort function and we are going to sort our array also let's create a set which we are going to use in order to store our subsets it will help us to eliminate the duplicate subsets so it's going to be a list of integers it's going to be a list of integers and uh, let's just call it a result and it's going to be new hash set new hash set okay so at the end what we are going to return we are going to return here our we are going to return new array list new array list and we are going to pass a result here to our array list because we need to return the array we need to return the list not set at the end. Okay, great. Now we can do what we can do. We can go and uh, we can backtrack. We can implement our backtracking. First of all, what is, let's create that method. It's going to be private. Let's make it void. And uh, it's, let's go backtracking. So what it's going to take as a parameters. So first thing, it's going to obviously take our result, right? That we are going to add that here. It's going to take our nums, so it's going to take our nums. It's going to take our nums. It's going to take the start point, right, in start, because, for example, when we are generating a tree, so when we, now we are, first we are generating for the first element, now we're generating with second, third, and so on. So we have nums, we have start, 
and also we need to have a temporary we need to have a temporary a list that we are going to add to our set it's going to be a list of integers integer and let's just call it a temp temp result okay so temp result all right so now we can call our backtracking method from our main method here so we are going to pass here our result we are going to pass here our nums uh, we are going to start from the zero index and we are going to pass here a new array list okay new array list great so first thing what we are going to do in our in our backtracking method we are going to check that the if our if our result contains if it does not contain our temp result so we have generated now we are adding that to our result if it does not contain what we are going to do we are going to add that if it does not contain then to our result to our result we are going to add our temp result but uh, we are going to create a new array list for it because if we are going to save the same temp, temp result all uh, it's all will point to the same list in the memory so that's why we are creating here new array list array list right and we are passing our temp result okay that's how we are adding our that's how we are adding our temp result to the result now let's go and generate our tree so for that let's do int i it's going to start not from the zero but it's going to start from our start right until i is less than nums length right and the i we just increment that here so what we are going to do here first thing we are going to do we are going to add to our temp result we are going to add we are going to add our nums i right we are going to add nums i so we're going to add that element and um, then we are going to backtrack so we are going to go and recursively call other methods right so we are going to pass again our result here we are going to pass here nums and we are going to pass here temp result and also we are passing i plus one so we are going to the next element and as we backtracking let's say that the, we are at the lowest level we are let's say we have example right one two two we have one two two we added now we are backtracking we need to clean our we need to clean our temp result we need to clean our temp result so for that we are removing the last element that we have there how we can do that so we are going to do temp result size minus one so that's how we are going to remove the last element that's it let's run it okay result Okay, uh, temp result should be here. We are passing our parameters in wrong order result. Okay, let's run it one more time. Okay, great. It works as expected. Let's calculate our time and space complexity. What's going to be the time complexity in this case? So for generating all possible solutions, we are our, our worst case scenario, our time complexity is going to be o of to the power of n right or sorry to the to the power of n so it's exponential and uh, also we need to take into account that the here right here we are adding a new so this one this part also contributes to our time complexity which is the time complexity of adding is n so we are also multiplied to n so it's a uh, to the power of n multiplied by n how about this how about the time com space complexity space complexity in this case our subset may our our result may contain 
to the power of n subsets, right? To the power of n subsets, and the average size of that subset is gonna be, let's just say that it's a k, so we are taking that k, so our space complexity is gonna be 2 to, two to, two to the power of n multiplied by k. Okay, uh, that's it. Hope you like my content. If you like it, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel. That's the only way how you can support me. See you next time. Bye.